This is ESPA 19. And I'm filming this taking place on July 13th, 2011. As you can see, there's active tree removal taking place. Um, in ESPA 19, work crews are on site. We've got a Apache vehicle over here. Um, we've got people in the woods, probably looking for damaged nests, I assume. I actually found a baby bird here on site on Saturday during the migratory bird breeding season. I'm filming the work crews as they remove the trees in the designated 10 meter corridor, which has been delineated as part of the City of Waterloo plan to put a trail and infrastructure through ESPA 19. There was an OMB order that mandated a land bird monitoring report be formulated in ESPA 19 prior to augmentation of habitat. I've consulted with the City of Waterloo planners who confirmed that they have not yet received that report because they were going to inform me when the report came in and they have yet to do that. I consulted with them just a couple of weeks back. I have the emails to prove it. What you are seeing here is a deforestation of ESPA 19 in a known habitat located at the root of a tree on Sunday in this area and I am currently observing continuing augmentation of the lands in spite of emails having been sent to the city of Waterloo. I have an email confirmed by Karen Skian saying that she received my concerns I actually walked these forests with bylaw staff who also observed the tree removal and yet did nothing. They have an obvious conflict because they do work for the city of Waterloo. And as you see, this work is currently being done by members of Stantec. Just want to make sure that you stay clear this area so that you're safe. Okay, do you realize this is a migratory bird breed? Has this agency received the land bird monitoring will, reports. You want to back yeah, this way? I will. Yeah. Has the um, land bird monitoring report been received by city staff? The land bird monitoring report that was mandated by way of OMB process in May of 2010. Because I found a baby bird sitting in the stump of one of these trees on Saturday during the migratory bird season. It was I was told it was a baby robin, migratory bird. So what we're observing here is in fact illegal and a violation of the Migratory Bird Act and the RCMP have been informed. Are you aware of that? Because you should be. Uh, can I have your name, please? Okay. Good, I got it on videotape. This will be sent and shared with the RCMP. Okay, so here you go. I walked with the bylaw officer earlier today who was also concerned about what was taking place here, but she works for the city and uh, stated basically that, uh, you know, she has issues in terms of her role being employed by city, but she didn't feel all that comfortable hearing the cracking of the trees today after I informed her of what I've observed. Okay, so we have basically the disruption of the hydrological regime. We have the removal of roots and the removal of trees. And I don't really understand why the pacing of it has to be at this time because technically um, the subdivision isn't set to be built for a few more years yet. I know because I secured the hydrogeological analysis to be done on these properties by way of OMB process. 
Staff aren't too chatty here today, so I can't get names, but nonetheless, we are observing what we are observing. A lot of these trees are going through chippers. Um, I noticed a, a chipper located on the Vista Hills property. Because it's on private land, I have no access to it, but it'd be very interesting to see if there's any evidence of damaged nests. This tree's gonna go down real soon, so I'm just uh, going to back off as soon as I can here. Get out of the zone. Area residents are disappointed and somewhat shocked at the absolute clear cutting of this passage right through. They were under the impression that it would only involve a certain section, not the entire forest not the entire forest width. They were under the impression that there would be a remaining buffer zone at the entranceway. I'll just look at this work in the meantime. So the work here, uh, being over, overlooked by staff at Stantec. I'm witnessing the removal of the tree roots, which is of concern because that's where I saw the baby bird yesterday, is within the tree roots of trees located here. As I said, various, uh, here's a tree falling. There you go. Okay, during the bird breeding season. Because the area is off limits, I am unable to see if there is a nest in that particular tree or not. However, I can validate to the fact that it would not be unlikely during this time of the year, seeing as it's June 13th. So once all these fellas have managed to clear their way out and go home for the night, I'm going to check with City of Waterloo staff to see if that bird's still alive or dead. So I'm just giving you a little video of what's happening today, okay? So these are the trees that have fallen on the public land portions. I wish I could go through it to see how many nests there possibly could be, but I am unable to do so. It would be off limits. See the tape? I can't go beyond that yellow tape. I respect that. June 13th, City of Waterloo. Migratory bird act doesn't mean a damn thing. There you go.